Today we're going to be um, looking at drilling out these uh, five actually bolts snapped, getting this head off and using a um, thread repair kit, the helicoil. Um, so basically the way these work is you drill these out, make sure it's right down the center of the bolt um, and yeah, basically tap a new thread with this larger tap the same um, gauge um, as the bolts, but it's, it's a larger tap. And then you put in these, basically a spring. Um, so yeah, basically with this guy, turn that spring down into the new thread you've created. And um, there you go. So it's, it's a new thread and it's stronger than the original. So very very good system I love it so I've drilled right through these um, bolts these broken bolts with the 1 8 bit um, you need to be very very careful take your time make sure you don't um, snap any drill bits inside what you're drilling um, because if you break a drill bit down inside one of these um, that's hardened and you're gonna yeah have trouble getting that out of what you're trying to repair. And now I'm going up to a 4.5 mil bit, just working my way up from there. Um, and you can see I've yeah, obviously blocked the cylinders with um, rags and the exhaust side is all blocked up as well, just so that no shavings go down there. Um, these out, and when I take these out, I'll have the motor upside down so that I'll pull these downwards and all the shavings come out. Um, last thing you want is shavings inside your cylinders, so. And go with this 4.5 mil. So you can see I'm being very gentle. Don't use cheap drill bits to do this because um, they snap a lot more um, and you should be pulling shavings as you go. Here we got the six mil. So now I'm up to a seven mil bit. Let's blow them out now. Watch your eyes. And at this point, I'll just use a hammer and a screwdriver. Let's see if I can remove some, some of the bolts. Like that. Now this is the size I need before I cut the new threads. So I'm gonna take my time and do the best I can. Time to cut the threads. So I'm going to put this uh, helicoil in now. Um, so it's got a little lug on the back and this tool has a slot in it. So basically, yeah, just slide it on like that. I like to put a little bit of Loctite on it. And you don't want to cross thread this as you put it in. So just make sure it's going into that new thread you cut. You go about a turn below the surface. Yeah, you just want that last coil to be, make sure it's in a groove. And then you've got this other little tool and then you just break off that little tag. So that's off. 
And there you go. I'll bring that over. So, new thread.